Hello everyone, welcome to another Exchange 2019 video. My name is Ed and in this video we're going to talk about database availability groups and how to create one. So first things first is if you log into the Exchange Admin Center and you click on Servers and you navigate to Database Availability Groups, you'll be able to see all the availability groups here. Uh, remember that if you have 2013, 2016, coexistence or 2016 2019 you should see them all here you just obviously can't manage one from the other one now the traditional way or the easiest way is to click on your plus button and you can pretty much give it a name provide the witness server its directory and you can either go IPless which means exchange will then find a server as its witness and assign it And also the IP address will be 255.255.255.255. However, if you want a static IP now, the reason you want a static IP is because applications uh, that sit on top of Exchange, like Cloud Blue, Odin, require a DAG with an IP. So we're going to create a DAG using the Exchange Management Shell. So I've already got the command in place and I'll explain it to you now. So essentially what this command is doing is we're saying new database availability group minus name, I've given a name, my server, I only have a domain controller as a server, the witness directory, and then the IP address. And I can press enter. And you can see, basically it's saying the Exchange Trusted Subsystem is not a member of the local admins it's because it's a domain controller and there is no local groups on a domain controller. So if I had to refresh now, there you can see DAG1 created. If I had to go into it and uh, click on IP address, you can see there's my IP address. And that's how easy it is to create a DAG. Thank you very much for watching.